So it's really happening. Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman, will no longer be the defender of Earth in DC Comics beginning this July. He's handing that responsibility over to his son, Jonathan Kent. So let's talk about that today. Hey everyone, it's RevKev here. Welcome to the Geek Corner. If you're new, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button and be a part of the community here. Especially since I'm launching a brand new segment on the channel today called The Superman Family. Basically, I'm going to try to get together with some friends and people I know and a lot of times be just by my lonesome. Talking all things Superman. Comic book. TV. Movies. I'm a huge Superman fan. Have been since 1978 and love talking about the Man of Steel. So, in this very first episode... There's some news that we learned about way back in April, um, but honestly, I wasn't 100% sure they were going to pull the trigger on it, but it has happened. Jonathan Kent, the son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane, is taking over the mantle of Superman. That's right, Clark Kent is no longer going to be the official Superman protecting Earth beginning this coming July. So let's uh, kind of just talk a little bit about that together today. So Jonathan Kent first appeared six years ago in the DC event comic Convergence. Now, in that short period of time, Jonathan Kent has gone through a lot of changes. Started off as kind of a young Superboy. Then he's moved on to a teenage hero. And then he went off on adventures in outer space with his grandfather Jor-El and came back... Even older, being out in space with your grandfather, I guess, ages you really fast. <laughs> and then he goes off with the Legion of Superheroes off to the future to prepare himself for the day when he is going to take over as Superman. And now he has returned significantly older. Here we now have a young man, Jonathan Kent, ready to defend the Earth as the new Superman. Now, I gotta be honest, when I first heard that this was going to be happening wasn't crazy about the idea. It just felt like it was this forced kind of reboot. Because we've been hearing these rumors that Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman were going to go the way of the Dodo and they were going to make more modern versions of the characters. And i got to be honest, whenever I hear someone say we're going to make a more modern version of something, for me that means they're going to wreck it and make it really dumb. <laughs> It's just what it means every single time. You know, the reason why these characters have lasted for as long as they've had is because they connect with every generation across time. They don't need to be modernized. You can tweak them, you can modify little things of the story. But man, when you try to make them modern, it always gets wrecked. So I was really kind of debating if it was going to be time to stop collecting Superman comics when this change was going to happen. And to be honest, I didn't really think it was going to fully happen because I didn't think the comic book industry was going to survive this long. So the fact that we're still getting comic books uh, and the fact that they've now released the cover, uh, um, the, the covers for uh, Superman number one. So the new title, Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one. They've released the main t uh, cover, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's a real good tribute to uh, the Superman of old, as well as the variant covers that are being released as well. Um, I really like them. I really like the art. And so I'm willing to give this a shot. I'm willing to give this a shot because I've been loving the new show, of Superman and Lois on television. And there's a Jonathan Kent over in that show as well, who is completely different than this Jonathan Kent in the comic book. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I've got it reserved to come in from my local comic book shop and I'm gonna even get all the variant covers. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to in this case because I really like the art style. Now, thankfully, Clark Kent isn't really going anywhere. Well, that's not true. He is going somewhere. It looks like he's going to outer space. <laughs> so while he's going to leave his son as defender of the Earth, well, it looks like Clark Kent and Lois Lane are heading off into space. And that's going to continue in Action Comics. Which, again, 
I kind of like this idea. It gives an opportunity to have two different type of Superman story happening simultaneously. You've got Clark Kent out in space, so you get more of kind of this superhero science fiction kind of action going on. As w and then super and that and Clark Kent really kind of taking on this intergalactic level of um, of being a superhero, and then you've got Superman back on Earth, you know, defending the Earth, fighting baddies there, and really coming into his own as a hero. So this could be really interesting. So I'm hoping that this isn't gonna be really messed up and just tweak the characters in such a way that they're actually not relatable and that uh, they just kind of wreck the story for m making them more modern for just that sake because um, i really don't think that's necessary so yeah kind of interesting to see this finally take place where jonathan kent takes over as superman um, looking forward to giving it a read when it re is released in July. For sure, I will do a rundown of it when I pick up those comic books at the end of July. So I'd love to know what you think about this idea about Jonathan Kent taking over. Is it too soon? Is it too rushed? Does it feel like, you know, they're just trying to change the character for no reason? Would love to know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. And as always, appreciate each and every one of you who come by the Geek Corner. Really hope you like this new segment of the Superman family with Rev Kevin friends. And until the next video, God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon.